Monday, Grade 12 Learners. I am your teacher, Gerald K. Binavalta. Welcome to another episode of Senior High Tech TV. How's your day? I hope you are now ready to unleash your creative writing juices with our new lesson for today. Please bring out your pen, your notebooks, your learning activity sheets, and assessments. But before we move on to our new lesson, let's have a review of our past episode. Last time, we have discussed the structure of a one-act play. What are again its parts? That's right! The basic parts of a one-act play are the plot, dramatic rhythm, the action, the conflict, and characterization. How about the structures of a dramatic script? I'll be showing you a script and tell me what part is shown. Let's begin! What part is this? That's right! It's the title. How about this one? Very good! That's the playwright. How about the next one? That's right! That is the characters. How about this one? Very good! It's the cast. How about the next one? Great job! That's the setting. How about this one? Yes! That's the stage directions. How about this one? Great job! It's the name of the characters. And lastly, what is this? Very good! It's the dialogues. I guess you are now ready to move on with our new lesson. But before that, here's our lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to define a graph essay, enumerate the parts and techniques of writing a graph essay, and write a graph essay that conveys your thoughts and feelings about a chosen prompt. But before we tackle our new lesson, Let's have an activity entitled, Sentence Puzzle. I will be flashing jumbled sentences. Analyze its thought and arrange them to form a complete paragraph. Are you ready? Let's begin. For example, when primitive humans left their tribal villages to search for food and water, they risked death or injury from dangerous animals. Throughout human history, the physical universe has often presented dangers to explorers. Similarly, the ocean of outer space has many dangers. However, it is also has several unique challenges for explorers including its vacuum environment, countless high-speed meters, and few known sources of waters. Later, when people sailed the oceans in search for new lands for settlement or trade, many died in terrible storms. Arrange the sentence puzzle. This is the arrangement of the sentences. And here's the arranged paragraph. Throughout human history, the physical universe has often presented dangers to explorers. For example, when primitive humans left their tribal villages to search for food and water, they risked death or injury from dangerous animals. Later, when people sailed the oceans in search of new lands for settlement or trade, many died in terrible storms. Similarly, the ocean of outer space has many dangers. However, 
It also has several unique challenges for explorers, including its vacuum environment, countless high-speed features, and a few known sources of water. Did you get it right? Let's try it one more time. After too many minutes without oxygen, a person would lose consciousness and eventually die. One of the challenges that is unique to space is the fact that space is a vacuum, which is a risk for various reasons. First, in a vacuum, there is no atmosphere and therefore no air pressure. With current technology, the dangers of the outer space vacuum are too overwhelming for prolonged space travel. Finally, without an atmosphere, the rays of the sun can cause radiation poisoning. Also, in a vacuum, a person's blood will gradually begin to boil. Without air pressure, the human has no oxygen to sustain itself. Arrange the sentence puzzle. Job. This is the arrangement of the sentences. And here's the arranged paragraph. One of the challenges that is unique to space is the fact that space is a vacuum, which is a risk for various reasons. First, in a vacuum, there is no atmosphere and therefore no air pressure. Without air pressure, the human body has no oxygen to sustain itself. After too many minutes without oxygen, a person would lose consciousness and eventually die. Also, in a vacuum, a person's blood will gradually begin to boil. Finally, without an atmosphere, the rays of the sun can cause radiation poisoning. With current technology, the dangers of the outer space vacuums are too overwhelming for prolonged space travel. Did you get the arrangement properly? Very good! Seems like you have talent in writing. But we'll try to hone that further because our topic for today is all about writing a craft essay. But what is a craft essay? A craft essay is an essay that discusses matters of creative construction that may include reflection of writing strategies, genre elements, and contextual influences. In writing a craft essay, we should know its parts. The three parts of a craft essay are the introduction, body paragraphs, and the conclusion. Let's discuss them one by one. First, we have the introduction. The introduction is the opening paragraph of your essay. It is where you establish curiosity to your readers about the general topic, catch their attention, or put the essay in context. It must contain an attention grabber for the reader, or at least make the essay sound interesting. It may begin with a quote about a particular topic. In here, you have to ensure that the intro moves from general to the specific in regard to the topic. It should provide the reader with a roadmap of the essay in a logical order. At the end of your first paragraph is your thesis statement. Thesis statement tells the readers exactly what your paper will be arguing. Each body paragraph will directly and obviously support your thesis. Next, we have the body paragraphs. An essay usually have at least three body paragraphs. And this will be the arguments, evidence, or topics that support your thesis. Each body paragraph will begin with a topic sentence which introduces its topic. All of the information in that paragraph will be clearly and logically related to the topic sentence, which in turn should obviously relate to the thesis. 
In writing the body, we have to follow a logical order of ideas. We have three types of order. First, we have the chronological order. This is the order of time, good for narratives. Next, we have the spatial order. It is good for descriptions of locations, top to bottom, and others. Lastly, we have the empathic order. For example, from least important to most important. In the body paragraphs, we have to ensure that transition sentences are present to create a good flow to the essay. We also have to include substantial examples and evidence to support your argument. Remember, cite, cite, and cite. Make sure to use examples that is relevant to your particular topic. Lastly, we have the conclusion. A conclusion should wrap up your essay, but should not introduce new information or arguments. It should begin with a sentence that looks a lot like your thesis to summarize the general points of the paper as a whole, and then draw your paper neatly to a close. Ensure that the reader is left with something to think about, particularly if it is an argumentative essay. Those are the different parts of a craft essay. In writing a craft essay, it is important to consider the context. What is context? The English word context comes from the Latin verb contexto, which means to connect or weave together. It is the background, environment, setting, framework, or surroundings of events or occurrences within which a work or sentence is situated. The context of an idea or writing is the general situation that relates to it and which helps it to be understood. We have two major types of context. The literary context and the socio-political context. First, let's discuss the literary context. Literary context relates to the particular form of a passage takes, the literary genre, and to words, sentences, and paragraphs that surrounds the passage you are studying. To determine the literary context of a literary piece, you need to identify the following. Its genre. Example, poetry, drama, fiction, or non-fiction. The author's purpose. Example, to inform, to persuade, to entertain, or to explain. The text structure. Example, description, chronology, comparison, problem solution, or cause and effect. Literary devices used. Example, imagery, metaphor, simile, and others. Having a clear literary context in mind will help you craft your essay clearer and more efficiently. Moreover, it can help you analyze others' work. How about sociopolitical context? Sociopolitical context consists of the overlapping of social and political arena and their influence over the literary text. We have several kinds of sociopolitical context. Here are the following. Social issues. Social issues are problems in a society by which a significant population is affected. Politics. Politics are the activities of the government, members of the lawmaking organizations, or people who try to influence the way a country is governed. In literature, it is a prolific theme. We also have religion. Religion is a personal set of institutionalized system of beliefs and practices. The socio-political context highly influences our writing because we often write about the current issues happening around us. But in using highly sensitive socio-political issues, we should write with utmost sensitivity and objectivity. Those are the parts of a craft essay and the different types of context. What are again the parts? We have the introduction, the body paragraphs, and the conclusion. How about the types of context? We have the literary context and the sociopolitical context. Is our lesson clear to you now? Let's test it out with our activity. Draw a check 
if the statement is correct and an X if the statement is wrong. Are you ready? Let's begin! Social political context includes genre and author's purpose in writing. Check or X. How about the next one? Each body paragraph will begin with a topic sentence which introduces its topic. Check or X. Great job! The answer is X. How about the next one? A conclusion should wrap up your essay but should not introduce new information or arguments. Check or X. Excellent! The answer is check. How about the next one? You have to ensure that the introduction moves from the general to the specific in regards with the topic. Check or X. Very good! The answer is check. How about the next one? Politics, religion, and text structure are kinds of sociopolitical context. Check or X. Great job! The answer is X. How about the next one? An essay usually has at least three body paragraphs. Check or X. Excellent! The answer is check. How about the last one? As a part of the introduction, the topic sentence tells the readers exactly what your paper will be arguing. Check or X. Great job! The answer is X. Very good, grade 12 learners! Seems like you are now familiar with the parts of a craft essay and the different types of context. But to further test that out, let's have our final activity. Open your learning activity sheets and assessment for week 6 and accomplish written work number 3. Activity 5, My Masterpiece, pages 5 to 9. There are given writing prompts in the forms of songs, pictures that portray sociopolitical issues, applying what you have learned about the elements of essay, literary devices and text structure, write a craft essay that conveys your thoughts and feelings about your chosen prompt. Be guided with the rubric provided. Very good grade 12 learners! You are now a step ahead in your creative writing journey. Next time, we will tackle more on creative writing specifically, writing an online portfolio. Again, this is your teacher, Gerald K.B. Navalta. Keep safe and study smart. See you again next episode! Bye!